So this has effectively started WW5 in gaming, everybody. What the hell is going on in gaming? I'm seeing a lot of people cover this story, and the Japanese community is upset with it. The the black community is also upset with it. Not not everybody, of course, right? Some people care for what's going on. Other people don't understand it, and some that understand it, they're like, "Hey, it's Ubisoft, so I don't even care for it. I'm just not gonna buy. I'm gonna live happily." That's it. Some people care. Some don't care. Some think it's this something it's this some people think it's that wikipedia war is uh, happening as well where, where suckers are trying to re-edit the history Bruh. i think that's just insanely just copium right there like people are editing past history and there's a clip that i saw in this video and i i was quite frankly mind blown by it i, I think you're really gonna be mind bl blown by it as well get ready for the climax here right like the video if you think woke is destroying video games dislike the video if you think woke is good yeah woke is good L let me know where you at I roll it. Another day, another Ubisoft blunder. If they aren't deleting accounts, if you don't log in within six months, then walking it back after people take notice. Oh, hey yeah, there, this we one, just right? wanted to chime in that you can't avoid yeah. account closure. This happened. This happened last year. Oh shit. oh shit! No, I swear to God, it feels like that. It happened like a month ago, right? Where these seconds were like, uh, hey, if you do not log in. Uh, within 30 days, we're gonna cancel your account. You're by logging into your account within 30 days since receiving the pictured email. Selected oh and man. cancel oh account, God, blah, 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 blah. But we're not talking about that today. Or that time when they were oh releasing a quadruple A game, yeah. Skull and Bones, that nobody wanted. Then they had to reduce the price by $25 after <laughs> launching the game and praying someone will take a nibble. While the long anticipated Assassin's yeah. Creed set in Japan is finally happening. People have wanted this yeah, since Assassin's Creed 1. That's yeah. 17 years late. About that's two weeks crazy. ago, I heard rumors that the protagonist Samurai was going to be a black guy. I thought to myself, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. This is just people being hyperbolic about the woke movement and sweet baby. I know things are iffy right now, but Ubisoft isn't this stupid. This move would piss off the Japanese in the wake of Johnny Somali. So I paid it no mind. It just seemed too far-fetched and too stupid. Uh, okay, I still don't remember, like, what, uh, I don't know what happened, but I re I remember seeing that clip. I believe Asmund Gold reacted to that, so I saw his thumbnail, but I don't know what happened then. If anybody knows the knowledge, I mean, let me know in the comments, or is that also edited on Wikipedia? <laughs> like, this story? I, I, if you don't know what's going on, well, get ready for the climax. I don't think you're ready for this one, but it's gonna hit you like a big ass truck, ladies and gentlemen. Been people fear mongering, but I'll be flipping damn. They actually did it. I was under the yeah. assumption that the uh -oh. samurai was a made up character, kind of like Colin from Assassin's Creed 3. But Ubisoft went with uh, Yasuke, I believe his name is. If you've been on Twitter since AI started taking <laughs> off in the last year or so, then you've seen one of the many race Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. This picture was created by AI. It's not a real old photo, it's fake. <laughs> Nah, no way. There was one possible black samurai in Japan, Yasuke, but contemporary sources called him a Kosho? Uh, hopefully not butchering it. Which means he was probably a page or sword bearer retainer. Oh shit. Okay, so this is from Wikipedia. And yeah, people are editing this out on Wikipedia saying that he was not a retainer. He was like a samurai. Some people think he was a samurai. Some saying that he was a retainer. So there's like a fight happening between both of these groups. And listen, man, I I'm Pakistani. I'm South Asian. I'm, I'm a brown boy, okay? I'm a brown boy with a BBC. Uh, not saying that I can compete with like a black BBC. Or no, absolutely. I cannot compete with BBC. I cannot be fa fake offended. I find the entire situation hilarious, but I do understand the perspective from the black community and also the Japanese folks as well. Uh, I, I do understand where they're coming from. And of course, like, the, uh, guess what? Big shocker. I shouldn't have, I, sh I didn't want it to reveal the plot point right now, but plot point number one. This game is also linked with Sweet Baby Inc. Oh, shit. Oh, Go shit. figure why this is happening, so. A post about Yasuke. These Get Twitter accounts the tried to pass off the AI art as historical fact. These scholars forgot to check that photography didn't exist until the 1800s, which was 200 to 250 years after Yasuke died. You can <clears> find <throat> tons of AR art made about this guy in the last seven months. The Black Samurai in Japan. Mainstream media will never show you your Dang. comments on this. My god, this guy acted like he discovered fire. <laughs> the funniest black AI Japanese art 
are the ones where they like to make it like super super easy to understand we're talking about a japanese game here and people wanted to see japan setting assassin's creed japan and they wanted to see like a japanese samurai because it fits well with the story it fits well with the setting and, and all around they just want like a japanese game a real japanese game right uh diversity people which means people are not against diversity people love diversity we all love diversity but it's the forced diversity the dei and the sweet baby ink situation is what people don't 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 like and changing the history as well because they're having uh japanese history uh be butchered like that right it's like it's the same thing for example in pakistani right so if they were making like this japan game and the protagonist was somebody from from my country let's just say from like pakistan or maybe even india right or or, or vice versa if it wasn't white man as well people would be equally mad it, it's like J japanese people would be upset with it and that's exactly what's uh what's so, uh, what's happening right now black people were the original japanese and they chased us out of the country and i'm just sitting here like god have mercy no i'm not looking up that stupid tweet Stu. you can find it it's been stated many times that yasuke was a retainer for nobunaga here's a wiki before uh -oh. the great rewriting yeah. yes people are now rewriting wiki because of assassin's creed game coming out welcome to clown world a black man was taken on as the vassal by nobunaga sama and received a stipend his name was decided to be Yasuke. He was also given a short sword and a house. He was sometimes Dang. made to carry Nobunaga's tool. Hey man, can a brother get a house? Cause I'll be living in an apartment, man. It's kinda, <laughs> it's kinda tough out here, man. It is kinda tough out here. And yeah, folks are actually editing Wikipedia. <laughs> But this is just next level coping right there. This is next level of bad. It's like Sega's are going back in the past and changing history, like trying to change history. That's crazy. Holy crap. Like this is a new level of flow. This is probably been altered again. Who the hell knows? I don't care enough. Like even the fact it's pretty impossible for there to be a photograph and the fact it's AI. Yeah. I like how the vibe of this post is the mainstream media will never show you. Yeah. But they don't even know. Cam spoiler alert, cameras didn't exist back then. Name him. The only known black samurai was Yasuke. And he might not have even been a samurai. Why? Wild. Well, documents is that he was a retainer and allowed to carry arms. So for the purposes of status within Nobunaga's house, it is somewhat equivalent. But as a rank, it is indeed doubtful he would have been considered part of the warrior class. The trailer <laughs> makes little to no sense. Obviously, during Nobunaga's reign, he killed a lot of people. But I must agree, this trailer was actually very, very good. And the character they have outside of this, like, woke stuff and, like, the, the cultural war that's happening and, and then Ubisoft butchering the history and whatnot, the, the black character looks very good. Uh, it looks very good. The trailer is very good. The game looks very good. But again, like, we're talking about Ubisoft game and also we're talking about CGI trailer, right? So, and knowing their past history, the game is probably going to end up being a flop. Uh, probably going to be, like, $25, like, <laughs> a month after launch right knowing their history i'm exaggerating but but like they're uh, yeah they're selling this uh this ticket for like 130 dollars you can get the present version for 70 dollars though it's only 70 dollars guys it's only 70 dollars but with that you, you you get the peasant version essentially you don't get you, you know what i mean right you get half the game essentially mall slights even for being buddhist that, like that was one of his things killing buddhists yeah. was a hobby if I recall correctly. And yeah, I'm also seeing a lot of comments about like a female uh, character as well, right? For uh, doesn't look female at all. That's what some people are saying. Like, look at that jawline. Looks like that she she can beat up Brock Lesnar with her pinky toe, uh, right? That Bruh. yeah, people are saying that. <laughs> people people are saying that. And also, it, it, Japanese folks are also upset with it. They they want to see because we're talking about a time period when. Like, this crap wasn't... You know what I mean, right? Like, you, you, uh, how many... Uh, yeah, like, back then, they, you wouldn't see, like, a chick, like, being a samurai and chopping off dudes left and right. So, people are upset with it, rightfully so. That doesn't mean, uh, like, hey, people are sexist or misogyny. That doesn't mean that. It just means that, like, you're butchering the history and people don't want you ruin, ruining the history, butchering the history. People just want, like... If you're doing a game, for example, like, Assassin's Creed Japan, and you're using this uh, feudal Japan, and you're you're gonna you're gonna be making the, the this game based off of the history people want the true history right yeah sure you can make like a 
futuristic setting and in that futuristic setting you can have a badass female samurai samurai absolutely bro like i would love it though and people would love it as well uh, as long as her jawline is like uh, as long as she's a feminine character but she badass though people want a badass character don't get me wrong but people don't want you calling her a female character but then you change her into a man and then be like yeah that's a that's a female of course people don't want that right yeah so this is another thing that i'm seeing as well Go around. The trailer starts with the female protagonist noticing her village is being massacred. She then gets knocked down a hill. Oddly enough, they didn't finish her off, but whatever. She was probably a Buddhist. And she sees the black samurai involved in all the death and mayhem uh -oh. of her village, right? And for some reason, she wants to work with him. This makes no sense. But the next questions. Just consume product. The Black Samurai also has dreads. I'm so sick of black characters in every <sighs> game having dreads. How did he get that going in feudal Japan, dude? I highly doubt Nobunaga sent people out to get this dude imported tools and products to create small- Okay, I didn't see that coming though. Like when he said, I hate, uh, I was like, <gasps> you know what I mean? Like, <gasps> what, 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 what? Hold up, <laughs> pull the brakes, bro. Pump the brakes. Where my black homies at, though? Yo, we need to gang up right now, bro. Like, what? What did you say? What is it? No, I'm just joking, Ron. Uh, but now, uh, honestly, the character does look very good uh, to me. Like, the character does look very good. It just happens to be... And the trailer on top is very, very well done. But it just happens to be that Ubisoft cannot win. And the reason they cannot win is because, like, they are forcing down the woke politics and the DEI stuff, forced uh, diversity and all that bull squash changing the history. Yeah, if this was, like, a modern day something, yeah, like, people wouldn't be too mad with it or, or uh, people would be fine. Uh, and also, you gotta understand that the game is set in Japan. So, Japanese folks and people around the globe just want to see, like, Japanese protagonists, right? It's the same thing, like, you're making a game in an Arab setting. In Middle East, you're gonna have an Arab dude perfectly fine right you can yeah so it, it's one of and, and yeah same goes with gta 6 like this is a perfect example i can bring up it's not that game uh, people are like rashish uh that they don't want black people miami got a lot of black folks there right the black community uh, is prominent there and, and gta 6 we saw their trailer yeah a lot of uh, the black community is showcases there and it promotes that and yeah not even promotes that it's that uh, uh, my it's like it's like a real life uh a parody right gta is a real life parody of miami so yeah people are people are cool with it everybody's cool with it nobody's mad with it because yeah like nothing to be mad about like rockstar is doing a good job now there's another thing right now a lot of people are also hella suspect with gta 6 people are worried that they're gonna make jason into a jasony people are worried about that lucia is gonna be like a like a boss babe uh, she's gonna be a queen city city queen uh and jason is gonna be a simp uh they them and he's gonna turn out to be like uh, not a man right uh, so th that's that's what a lot of people are worried with and it's gonna be woke in that aspect but but see like that's diversity being done well with gts of course we don't have the game but like so far that's how it feels like a good example another good example i can give you right now is gta 4 the ballad of gay tony uh the character was gay and it was also black and tony did people complain absolutely not because they didn't try to force that crap down people's throat uh and uh, the story was good the game was good and yeah yeah the setting was all the setting it, for the setting it felt per it felt perfect as well and, and another uh a factor is also at play is that back then we didn't have like a whole lot of uh pushing of forced uh, diversity we didn't have a whole lot of this dei sweet baby ink and the woke crap so when, once in a while whenever we would get something even if the game was woke or not e even if the game was woke people wouldn't be too mad with it because it's like hey one game or uh let's just say one game out of 100 games is woke hey who cares right it's fine okay we finally got something that's different but now it's like 90 games are woke 10 games are non-woke so the the 10 games that are non-woke they stick out like a sore thumb this is why stellar blade kind of blew up even though like people played it and they said that the story in that good gameplay amazing character hello me Jin, you know Jin. Uh, yeah so there there's a reason why certain games are sticking out like a sore thumb right now versus all of these uh big uh publishers triple a games all clean dreads like he has i'm not even japanese and i find this offensive Damn. but 
If you listen to the court, I cannot be fake offended because I'm not Japanese. I'm not. I'm not offended, but all right. But but uh, and I'm also not a history buff. If you're a history buff, then I can understand you being offended or not necessarily offended, but being upset with it. Yeah, I'm not a history buff personally. Like I don't necessarily. Uh, yeah, I, I I did pass my history class, but but like that's besides Bruh. the point, though. That's beside the point, though. But but like I'm not a history buff. Corpo sucking game journals like IGN. Japan loves it. Let's skip all the hustle, bustle, and BS and just get to the pop culture part. Uh, talking uh -oh. IGN, yada yada yada. Professor of Japanese Literature and Culture, work of IGN, is Essence Creed, yada yada yada. Yasuki has been featured in many creative writings and media. If you go to Wikipedia for Yasuki's page, there's a long list of novels, TV shows, dramas that have been inspired by him. He, as okay. a historical character, or somebody who was inspired by him. I think people in Japan really, really embrace him as a character, and we really like to see him representing the samurai spirit. Now, if you hit the official launch page for Ubisoft Japan, you'll find the Japanese are not feeling this. Uh, <laughs> let's read some comments yeah. here. Oh, no. A game where black people <clears throat> massacre Japanese people in Sengoku, period, is a perfect example of Yubi. Is this what happens when, when political correctness is taken to the extreme? Yes, for some reason, Assassin's Creed set in Japan with Japanese people being the focus wasn't diverse enough. The sword is in the wrong position. Yo, this is crazy though. Oh, Game set in the Holy Land plays as a Syrian man. Game set in Italy play uh, as an Ital Italian man, yeah. Game set in the American colonies plays as both British and native men, yeah. Game set in the Caribbean plays as a Welsh uh, privateer. Game set in France plays a French man, play as an English twin in England, uh, Egypt plays an Egyptian man, uh, game set in Greece plays a Greek woman, uh, man and woman, and you see like, I have never even seen anybody being mad with diversity like this, because you know what? It made sense and it was well done. It wasn't like forced diversity. Yeah, I, I, and this is why people are bringing all of this uh, up here because nobody was mad and indeed there was nothing to be mad. People were surely uh, criticizing the game in terms of its quality and game being good or bad. Yeah, that's different though, right? Like if this game that's coming out, it might actually be good. But knowing Ubisoft track record, probably not, but it can turn out to be good. But still, like people would be upset with it because of like this woke politics and, uh, them changing the history and whatnot. Game set in Iraq play as an Arab man. Uh, and now, uh, yeah, three dots. Game set in feudal Japan play as an African man. Japanese people being the focus wasn't diverse enough. The sword is in the wrong position. It's no good to have it open at your side. I want Yasuki to appear as an ally. Are they mocking Japan? They should have made Damn. someone like Saizo Kiriga an assassin. It's Damn. a bit disappointing. I wanted to play as a Japanese ninja. It's my favorite game series. I started with Syndicate and have played everything, so this is sad. I don't think there is any Japanese people supervising the architecture. It's Chinese and filled with lanterns, Tori gates, and paper lanterns. So it doesn't feel like this. I think the Shogun stands out after the good example in the drama. Up until now, the main characters have been the original local races and ethnic groups, but why do they become different races when it comes to Japan? Yasuke, who is supposed to be a sword holder, enters the battlefield without permission, so Nobunaga-sama ends up holding a sword himself, which is ridiculous. Yeah, 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 this yeah, probably yeah, yeah, won't yeah, yeah. sell well in Japan. You should change your concept now. This is wrong in both Assassin's Creed and Japanese history. I, I don't think they're going to change it. Like, if they change it, man, holy crap. Uh, I, I don't know how the response would be. I think, yeah, if they were to change it, I don't know, though. Uh, yeah, the response, uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to start like another WW6 and... Uh, Mm, it's uh, yeah I, first of all i don't see them changing because the game is coming out soon right and they put in a lot of uh, time into making the game so they're not gonna change it yeah they can swap the character <laughs> like they always like to race swap and whatnot they can swap the character but then it's like i, I feel like that the story was written in a way what uh, it was written for like an african man in japan i think that's what it is i, I could be wrong of course i'm not a game dev i, I don't know but uh, but but if they were to change it, I think the response online would be absolutely ambiguous uh, and it would be insane and I think it's going to start another controversy for sure. Uh, honestly, quite frankly, I, I don't know how the response would be. It can, I think it will be good from one side but bad from the other side. Everyone has simple question. Why do they use black people in Japanese culture? As a Japanese person, I like to express my opinion. I used the translator site, so sorry if my English is not correct. Most of all, Nobunaga was a man who 
loved new and unusual things. Japan is a mono-ethnic country at the time, and Yasuke's appearance looked unusual to him. Therefore, Nobunaga wanted to keep him close. But it was not convenient to have a commoner near a person of high status. So he gave Yasuke status of a samurai. However, Yasuke was only given the status in a small salary, not a fiefdom or anything else that would raise his status as a samurai. I will not be buying this title. <gasps> I am disappointed in Ubisoft. I am filled with sadness. <laughs> Needless to say, that the game is, is dead on arrival in Japan. <laughs> Pound the brakes, bro. Did he put Logan Paul deadass? Logan Paul deadass right there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, uh, check out this video on the screen. Recently, there's like massive drama going on with PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, this video clip is going uh, viral. Not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Definitely check it out. Check it out. On the left, this video is on my second channel. I'm curious to know your thoughts and uh, I'll see you right there.